Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 30th till the 6th of April, the 30th of March till the 6th of April. I'm using the beautiful deck by Yasmin Westwood, the Enchanted Dreams Tarot, and I'm also using Archangel Michael's deck and the Angel Feather deck. So, and I'm also going to choose one card from the deck that speaks to me after I've done the reading. And um, I'm going to uh, go into that a little bit more. Okay, now, um, I'm also using uh, the bottom of the deck as the overall energy, my sweeties. Okay, so let's get started. The first card you have, Aquarius, is the Queen of Cups. Ooh, isn't she beautiful? I love this deck. This is one of my favourite decks. And I'll be doing an interview with the author uh, pretty soon. Okay. The Queen of Cups means that you might meet a Cancer. You might meet a, a Scorpio or a Pisces. And the Queen of Cups also uh, represents uh, Scorpio. So Scorpio, you are also um, represented by the Queen of Cups. So have a good look at your beautiful card. The Queen of Cups stands for uh, love, passion, nurturing, uh, sexuality and sensuality. She does look sensual and pretty. And she also is a little bit like the High Priest S because um, she is a, a water sign and the water signs are emotions. That's what water means. And they're also empathic. So they could also be very sensitive um, uh, to emotions. Um, the psyche, the intuitiveness, they are very intu intuitive and there might be, a lot of them could be psychic uh, people or have psychic talents. Okay, so listen uh, Aquarius uh, to your, uh, that's the message, to your intuitive, to your new ideas, to your gut feelings. This is on Monday the 30th. Okay, now if you're not meeting one of these people, then it could be water in your chart. So that's why you're, you might be highly sensitive at this moment or in, you have premonitions, anything like that. And you've got the card Justice. The card Justice to uh, clarify the card above it. Perhaps you are, like I said, not in balance. Here you can see the scroll of life and the sword of justice. Okay. If you aren't in a judicial situation, justice will be done. You will get what you deserve and so will the other. And if you are not in balance, then use your intuition. That is what is being said here. Take time out. Meditate contemplate and evaluate the situation or the question you might have on Monday. Now, if you, um, you've you also got the High Priestess, and the High Priestess re represents the moon, and the moon is, um, uh, what do you call it, Capricorn, okay, uh, no, sorry, the moon is Pisces. That is what uh, the, the, if you get the full moon card, then uh, or the moon card in the tarot, um, then uh, that is represented by Pisces. But she represents the moon as well in spirituality, um, intuitiveness. Uh, she's got the knowledge, the, the, uh, the book of life she has. She's got the knowledge from both worlds the underworld and the earthly world. Here you can see the scroll. So it's funny that these two cards have come up. Here you can see the scroll again. 
That's the secret of life. She's got the knowledge and she can hold a secret. She's also very mysterious. She will not um, show the back of her tongue. Okay, so perhaps that might be a message to you, 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 for you, Aquarius. Play the cards close or hold the cards close to your chest. Don't tell everybody what you're thinking or what you're doing. Listen to your intuition, like I said with the Queen of Cups, especially if you are not in balance. There's ideas coming to you. Your emotions might be um, very up and down, very uh, sensitive, especially at this time of uh, in the in this time that we are in now, and also with the uh, change from Pisces to uh, Aries. It is an active time at this moment uh, because we've got we are in the fire sign of Aries. So um, you might be too busy and not being balanced and uh, not taking time out to listen to your intuition or your new ideas. Here we have the card um, judgment. So that means uh, to me a new beginning or a second beginning because like the Venus, the Venus that you can see here is rising from the dead. The Phoenix uh, died some but not a literal death he died but he rose again and he was bigger and more beautiful than he was before it is time for a new beginning but remember time is man-made here it says i think uh, 10 past 10 it's cowboy time look 10 past 10 it might be coffee time when you uh, hear this video or watch this video but 10 to 10 to me is cowboy time cowboy time means also fun have fun um, don't be too serious remember that time is man-made this clock is um, the other clock says half past seven so those times might be significant to you but on Wednesday there will be a second chance chance or a new beginning, especially if you're in a judicial situation, uh, you, justice will be done. So if you, let's say, say, hypothetically speaking, you lost your job due to something, then, um, and you were fired, um, let's say uh, the company thought they went bankrupt and you had, were laid off, um, but due to some magical uh, or miracle they didn't go bankrupt or they're starting up again very small but you're getting a second chance a new beginning in the new company you know what resonates with you if uh, if it doesn't resonate with you have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign on Friday we have the nine of wands and Capricorn had this as well You've been through rough times, but there is an end now, okay? You're standing there with your head bent, thinking, what can I do? And look at the beautiful blue butterfly. It is a transformational period. Okay, the second, the, the, the new beginning has come, okay? And you're just uh, going over from one period into another period. A transformational period you have to adjust to the new uh, time the new system uh, something new that you started or perhaps the second uh, the second chance going back to the story about losing a job and the company has made a restart you might be there on your own or you might be there with new colleagues or um, something has changed justice is being done you've got the card justice here and you've got the ace of swords here and that means victory the ace of swords and um justice is libra and here you've got libra coming back because that's also an air sign and uh 
Gemini and Aquarius. So you are in your element Aquarius at the end of the week. You are shining because you've got victory. You might start a new study, a new job. This could be a job that cuts or uh, with uh, institutions. You might be working for an institution uh, like a law firm that uh, needs clarity as the swords stand for clarity, justice, honesty. You might be working in a hospital or um, in, in a hospital, uh, not as a surgeon necessary, but he cuts as well. Uh, it could be the chef in the hospital or in a hotel as a chef because you use knives. Uh, and a hairdresser, a butcher, any of these occupations usually are um, associated with the swords, okay? Or you might be meeting a Libra, an Aquarian, or uh, a Gemini. Also, the swords stand for communication. So you might be a presenter, you might be an author, you might be writing something, or a teacher as you are spreading the wisdom and knowledge and with communication. Awesome. Think of all the occupations you could be. So you could be starting a new job as one of these people or a new study. And because there is a justice here, it could be that you're winning your case. You're getting a second chance, a new beginning. Boom. Nice one. Congratulations. Now at the weekend, we've got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles. I love this this beautiful um, scenic set, the way it is set. It's in a garden. Like, you know, you might be out there, but you're not because you've closed yourself off. Wow. You've closed your heart off. You've closed your mind off. You've closed everything off that you possibly can close off. You, you look at her, she's just sort of um, daydreaming and this could be bad, so get out of your head, open your mind, open your mind, get the clarity, get the justice, get the wisdom, okay? Stop being in your head. I know it is an, uh, uh, a thing with the air signs that they're always thinkers, but open your heart. Enjoy. Let joy and love come in. Don't sit on your money or don't hold uh, on to something or someone because then you cannot move on. Let go. Open your solar plex. Open your heart. Open your mind to new things, to new beginnings. You're getting a second chance here. Okay. And this card basically means... Uh, your, the basic meaning is stingy, okay? You're holding on to money or something, and you, or you'll, you could have also the opposite. By spending too much money, tighten the purse, purse strings, okay? That is the warning. So open yourself up so that you can receive love. And, uh, and joy and fun, so that you can feel and be emotion. Perhaps you might be scared of your own emotions. Then we've got the Eight of Swords. Here we go. Like I said, you're too much in your head. You feel tied up. It feels as if you're tied up, like if you are, you're a fly landed in the web of a spider. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Don't let anybody boss you about, okay? Get clarity. Be, communicate clearly. Take you, She's got her hands free, so just walk through uh, the space of the swords and take off that blindfold. Then you can see where the space is without cutting yourself. Nobody should, uh, you shouldn't feel tied up, okay? You must, and being an Aquarian, uh, Aquarian, uh, you are an air sign. So you've got the gift of the gab. You can do the walk. So do the walk and the talk. Get that balance of the walk and the talk. Okay. Your overall energy is the five of cups. 
you feel left out. You might feel left out, but that's really the five pentacles. Perhaps that's why you're too much in your head or you're thinking too much about the past and that's why you're feeling left out. Although feeling left out is the five pentacles, but that is what I've got that came out and up in me uh, first of all before um, I went into the five of cups. So you are crying over spilled milk. Perhaps you might be missing a group of people, like I said, with the scenario with a job. Uh, you had to leave a job or you got fired or whatever the scenario can be and you're missing all the people, your colleagues. Um, so, you know, you, you've got this new beginning. So take it with both hands. Your fairy godmother has appeared. Okay? The angels. Or fairy godmother, whatever you would wish to choose. But take the two cups that are still standing. Here you go. The two cups. The others have tumbled over. No use to cry over spilled milk. You can only change the present and the future. So come back in your power. Okay. Now we've got the Archangel Feather, uh, Archangel Michael card, Justice and Truth. And I swear to you, on my heart, I do not sort out the cards. Justice and Truth, Scales Balanced, Scales Balanced. You've got Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key ensures that the truth is revealed and that the scales of justice are balanced. Here you go. And it is a purple card. And you've got two spiritual women here. Wow. Okay. Purple means spiritual. Okay. So listen to those beautiful ideas that you can have that come out of your head. So you can do something, take that blindfold off and do something constructive with these ideas. Then you've got the violet feather, angel feather. And again, spiritual growth and peace. peace. You've grown, you've grown through the week and most probably for since uh, December. I don't know why I'm getting December. Okay. Oh yes, the Queen of Cups is uh, Scorpio, so that's November. Oh, so I'm still close with time. It just came up with me. You see how funny it is? I said December, but Scorpio is uh, from the 21st of October to the 21st of November. Okay. Okay, the angels are present to acknowledge that you have recently experienced an incident. Okay, that could be the justice thing. Or even an event that has elevated your spirituality. Wow. Beautiful cards. Okay. Well, Aquarius, I hope you stay out of your mind. You can use your mind. Please do. But also learn to relax so that you can be in balance. Take time out for yourself and your awareness, your intuition. Now, the card that spoke out to me it most is the High Priestess. And you've got a number 11 there, okay? So you've got an angel number. Wow. The key words for the high priestess is intuition, clairvoyance, premonition, perceptivity, going within, hidden secrets, unconscious, awareness, potential, trusting inner wisdom. And you've got spiritual cards here. You've got the Queen of Cups, which is Scorpio, which is also, you've got the, uh, what else was it? Uh, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and you've got Libra, Libra, okay, 
and you've got you've got a lot of swords okay so you're in your element this week definitely you are improving so what I'm going to ask you is do you have courage to trust yourself and your instincts these two cards mainly okay and your this one your spiritual growth do you have courage to trust yourself and your instincts now I'm going to give you a task perhaps you might think it's great fun to have a task think about it the task is you can do it or you can think about it this week pay attention to the world around you look out for any signs or synchronicities and what they are telling you so that is your task for this week if you want to take the challenge this week pay attention to the world around you look out for any signs or synchronicities and what they are telling you that is your task for the coming week Aquarius see whether you really have opened up your mind got yourself free taken off the blindfold and working with spirituality to bring yourself back in justice and clarity um, balance and justice and clarity awesome I love your reading I hope you did as well so please Hit the subscribe button and the bell then you'll know when I go live English Monday and Friday Dutch on Wednesday and then you will also be notified when new videos are loaded up take care and please share and like as well with family and friends love you take care and I hope to meet you in the live sessions ciao ciao love cyberman